The Boston Celtics hung in there until the end against the Eastern Conference best Milwaukee Bucks. But were they snubbed by blown calls? I'm Sierra Goodwill here with yes. Bob Manning, Jimmy Toscano, and Joe Sway Pavone. I know Celtics fans will say a resounding yes to that question. Let's start with what I think was the most important <laughs> and biggest swing, and that was the charge on uh, by Giannis on Marcus Smart that would have been a sixth call, but it was reversed and it was called a block. It looked to me like he fully got out of the restricted area. I don't think that is up for debate, but I do think they called it he was moving in the air uh, as Giannis was in the air. Marcus Smart kind of moved towards him. Guys, your thoughts on that call? Did the refs get it right, and how pivotal was that reversal? That was the big one for me, too. I know I know Jimmy's going to disagree with us there, but, you know, they come out of the first one that we'll talk about in a second, the first missed call on Giannis, and then Smart comes right back, as he does, gets his foot out of the paint, as you said, Sierra, looked like he got it out of there right before Giannis's knee came smashing into him. And what, what blows my mind about it is that it was called a charge at first. If this was a block at first and they couldn't find something to change it to a charge, it'd be one thing. But you need some ample amount of evidence to show that that was a block. And I didn't see anything there that showed me it was a block. And all of a sudden, a six foul on Giannis becomes a three-point play. Like, it can't get any bigger of a swing than that, especially with the big charge after that it took to the rim and scored inside after. Like, it just changed everything about this game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you have to get that call right, especially in that point of the game, such a crucial point. And if you don't get it right, I'm, I agree with Bobby. Like, you have to have enough evidence to say, like, this is, you know, the decision and there's no debate about it. Look at that play. Look how many times people have seen it. I think it's going to be a big meeting tomorrow with the NBA and the, uh, and the officials about this one. <laughs> because, I mean, they Depending have to Depending on what you right. think they want. It and Jimmy, before I mean, you before you go, Jimmy, because no, I know... that's a bad have... call, whether it's Giannis or not. I mean, it's just a bad call. Well, before I before you get into this one, because I know you think that the the missed call oh, a minute before off, was also was also bad, and when they said it it wasn't what was it called? And it non intentional. Is that a what hostile it was? act? Hostile, hostile act. act. Hostile act. That's hostile right. act. Hostile act. They didn't call it a hostile act that went to the boards. Brad Stevens clarified in his post game press conference that once the refs go to the replay to determine whether or not it was a hostile act. They then cannot call it a personal foul. So that's why Giannis didn't pick up his sixth. Then a minute before, Jimmy, your thoughts. I'll say this about Giannis, just looking at the talent. 36 points, 15 rebounds, 7 assists, 12 fouls. I mean, how many fouls does he get? <laughs> I mean, he's a good enough player as it is. You don't have to give 12 fouls a game. We just talked about the first foul that they that they took back, but the one before that, the hostile act, complete sham bailout whiff on the referees. First of all, a hostile that that play had nothing to do with the hostile act. If you look up the definition, it is a foul. Looking looking up a hostile act is like two players like fighting away from the ball. That's like Raymond. when you go to the re, re exactly or a fan jumping in from the stands and punching. Like, that's a <laughs> that's a hostile act. I mean, this was clearly a personal foul, and in that situation, if you want to go to the replay booth and see if it was a flagrant, by all means, go for it. It wasn't. It really wasn't a bad foul. It's just the principle. It's like any other player, that's a personal foul, and because it was Giannis, they, they just pulled something out of their you-know-wares, called it a hostile act, <laughs> let play go on, and then to go and reverse the charge call that you guys talked about, it's just one thing after another, and yeah, I'm crying like a little crybaby right now, But and I hate talking about fouls and reps, but they, make, they don't give you a chance. They don't give you uh, two things. One, they don't give you a choice. And two, I've got about four and a half months of pent up referee anger that I got to get out. And I guess I just get to get it out in the first game. Well, Marcus Smart also in the post game interview was asked about that blown charge or reversed block call, whatever it was on him. And he said, let's call a spade a spade. Giannis is the MVP, and they didn't want him fouling out of the first game back of the season. Thank you, Marcus. And he Thank said you, he said it loud and clear in the post game, and I think that's what everybody fine for that. knows. You so know what? he'll probably get fined for that. Take yeah, exactly. But take that with a grain of salt. Let us know in the comments whether or not you think the Celtics were snubbed by blown calls. We'll have all of your Boston Celtics coverage as the season has returned. Yes, Jimmy. Bobby's gonna <laughs> start a GoFundMe, start that paying that fine for Marcus if he does get fined because he's saying he's Find saying the truth. Lincoln bio. You Bayer. had to interrupt him for that one. All right. We'll find all of our Celtics coverage on our website at clnsmedia.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Celtics All Access. Yes.